Exciting news for CBS. They have named a new CBS Evening News anchor. Oh, wait, what, what happened? I thought you guys were gonna go nuts. <laughs> Does anyone care? All right, well, that's the point of this story. Uh, first of all, does anyone know who the new uh, anchor is? The anchor of CBS Evening News. This used to be legendary. Walter Cronkite had this position. Dan Rather had this position. Uh, this was the, mo the most important position in news, arguably, um, you know, back in the day. Of course, no one knows. Okay, let's just keep it real. All right, that's fine. Uh, I'll give you a guess. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I'm gonna give you help. There he is. So n now you got it, right? You still don't have it? You don't know who that guy is? Uh, you're right, no one on planet Earth knows who that guy is, including his mom. Uh, that is apparently Jeff Glor. Huh, you know him now? No, nope, you still don't know. <laughs> There's not a single person in the audience who raised their hands when I asked who that guy is. Do you know him or not? Okay, now, um, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry that I'm amused by this story. Anyway, he's obviously replacing the Old CBS Evening News anchor who was there for six years. Now this guy, you know, right? I mean, uh, he's uh, also on 60 Minutes and uh, and just all over CBS. Um, anybody want to try a stab at his name? Anybody? Anybody? Yeah. No. Look, some of you do know him. Some of you do know him. This is Scott Pelley, okay? Uh, and you know, I certainly know who Scott is, and and, and some folks do. But probably not a lot. I know that because uh, I go give speeches on colleges and, and to other young folks. Uh, whenever I ask, can anyone name the CBS Evening News anchor, the ABC News, NBC News, no one has ever named the CBS or ABC News anchors. A couple people guessed Brian Williams for NBC, okay, which is not true, that's the old one. And, and yes, in a graduate level class at USC, a couple people knew Lester Holt. Anyway. Uh, but oh, I forgot to tell you, there was a transitional uh, uh, anchor between Scott Pelley and Jeff uh, Glor. But what am I thinking? I, why, I didn't have to tell you. You guys know who it was, right? You've been watching him the last six months. He's been at the CBS Evening News for six months. You don't know him either? Okay, here he is. It's actually Anthony Mason. Um, looks a little different since he retired from the Knicks. Uh, <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> anyway, um, all right. Yeah, that's rest of rest in peace. Not this Anthony Mason, the other Anthony Mason. Okay, this guy's career is that. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. His career is fine. He's still going to continue at CBS. Okay. Um, so now, look, the fact that you don't know him is uh, both good. Like, it's clearly not great news for CBS or any of the evening news stations or television overall, and certainly broadcast news. But it could be potentially a good thing, like maybe they picked a guy out of nowhere because he's really great. And who cares that we haven't heard of him? That's better than picking some stupid star, like, oh my God, they can star name recognition. We are bringing back, you know, we're putting in here Ryan Seacrest. And, you know, Ryan's a hardworking dude, but okay. So look, maybe that it's a no name's a good thing, right? So uh, we actually looked into it a little bit, uh, looked at an Associated Press story that has some quotes from CBS. Executives, etc., to see why they selected him. And to be fair, I think he's one of me, but I know guys who've won half a dozen. I know one guy I think has won over a dozen Emmys in local news. So I don't think that's really was the decisive factor here. So let me give you quotes from the Associated Press. They said ABC's World News Tonight has ascended to the top of the ratings after the telegenic David Muir replaced Diane Sawyer. Oh, so ABC's number one. So and they have David Muir, who's a good-looking. A young guy. So, of course, what do television executives think? Oh, I got it, I got it. We got a young guy who is also telegenic. That's the answer, that's the answer. I'm sure that it'll turn things around right away. And then they explain, with the 42-year-old Glor taking over sometime before the end of the year, CBS will have a youthful anchor to match ABC's Muir, who is 43. Oh, okay, another good relevant factor here. Okay, telegenic and young. He's really close to David Muir. I got news for you guys. I know David Muir is at the top now, and then does he does two million more viewers than the CBS thing? And in their world, that's super important. No one under the age of 35 has ever heard of David Muir. Okay, so now that's okay. Bless his heart, but it's just like this is gone. These folks still think it's relevant. Like they're all like, oh, but, oh wow, Glor got the job, huh? Is he gonna be able to compete with Muir? This is a real nail biter. <laughs> Nobody's biting their nails, no one. Okay, 
by the way, there's a little bit. I'm going to as I'm going to show you the numbers here. There's a twist to that, which is really interesting. So we're going to get there in one second. I just want to quote CBS News President David Rose as well. Have him explain. He says it doesn't hurt the broadcast prospects that Jeff is of his generation, and I think Jeff naturally communicates a digital future for the broadcast. If you say so. Okay, here we are in digital world. Has anyone ever heard of Jeff Glor? Now, look, and by the way, I just want to be super clear. Jeff's probably a good guy. I don't know him at all, and, and I'm and I'm obviously being a little bit of a jerk here. Let's just keep it keep it real, okay? Keep it one hundred. And uh, and I, so, and by the way, he might also be a bad guy. I've never met him. I don't know, but likely he's a good guy. Cares about the news. Super happy to get this job. Bless his heart. Uh, and. Uh, and he did work on the digital side of CBS apparently. But my point in doing this kind of jerky segment is like the world is completely and utterly changed and they are doing almost nothing to catch up. This is rearranging the chairs on the deck of the Titanic. Like, oh, let's get a young chair. Oh, that chair looks so shiny. Okay, I hear the kids are into that chair. I mean, he's he's in the digital age group. Yeah, but did he like and I don't mean this, I don't care, I wouldn't want to take the CBS Evening News job if you paid me, and they would, and I would still say no a billion times over. It is a super uninteresting job of reading from a prompter that someone else wrote. Again, my bad, I'm being a jerk, but that look, they, they read the news, they're readers, not, not an interesting job. But if you want it, so that's all a prelude to, if you really wanted someone from the digital generation, why don't you? Pick someone who grew up on the internet. <laughs> I know it's laughable. They would never do that. Here, look, I'll pick someone who uh, is also on the internet, and uh, and from time to time we compete for awards and stuff like that. Phil DeFranco. Now that would have been a bold choice. I would have been like, whoa, that is digital generation. They're not playing. They're going to go in a completely different direction. No, this is just riding out the rest of this, uh, you know, journey. You know where the journey ends, off a cliff. And they're just like, oh, all right, let's just ride it and see how it goes, okay? this. So that's just the reality of it. I mean, look, again, Jeff's probably a good guy, but no one on the internet has ever heard of him. Okay, so last thing is, this is the twist. CBS Evening News, um, you know how many uh, people watch them? I kid around and I say nobody, that's actually not true. Six million uh, viewers a night, wow. You know how many people watch uh, CNN? Primetime audience, not overall, primetime audience, 1.59 million. Actually, Jeff Glor will more than triple the Anderson Coopers of the world. And you know, similar numbers for Fox News and MSNBC. So actually, three times more people will watch him than Rachel Maddow, Sean Hannity, all those folks. So it's just, it's really interesting the way the media business works. Now, the reality is that that, that six million is enormously old. They're in their 60s, now bordering 70s, okay? No offense, I love you guys, but that's just the reality, okay? Um, but you know what? Cable news audience is also ancient. CNN's uh, average age on television is 61, MSNBC is 64, Fox News is 68. It's amazing what people pay attention to. Because the cable news guys are in every uh, other news station, they're in the pizza shops, they're in uh, you know, some of the bars that you go to, God help us, they're in congressional offices. So everybody's talking about, oh my God, Anderson Cooper said this, Rachel said that, Sean said this. In reality, not that many people watch them either. So whether it's this show or other shows on the internet, we get way more than either one of those guys. But since uh, it's not in the Washington and New York circles, and it's not on a loop 24 7, you know, they, by the way, and again, to be super fair, the folks in power will turn around and go, <laughs> for example, the example I use, Phil DeFranco, and I'm trying to give him credit here. And I think that he's got a huge audience. He would do, like, if you actually wanted to appeal to young people, that would be an interesting way to go, right? So they would go, <laughs> Phil DeFranco, nobody's ever heard of Phil DeFranco. Everybody knows Jeff Glor, nobody knows DeFranco. It kind of depends on who you're asking, right? So if you want an older audience, you go with the guys like Glor. You're not going to get a 42 year old audience. You're not. I write it down in stone. No one under the age of 45 is going to watch CBS Evening News or ABC or NBC. 
They're never going to turn around. They're gonna stay in the same exact way until one day they wake up and it isn't six million, it's six people, right? But the different circles that news travels in is fascinating. And, and so the overall takeaway, funny enough, is not about Jeff Gore or CBS, even though I had fun with that part of the story. It's actually that we give cable news way too much attention. They don't deserve it. Their audience is actually smaller than the guys you've never ever heard of. And they're the same age, they're not any younger at all. So the relevance of cable news is greatly magnified of simply because of where it airs. So keep it real on who has the audience, what those demographics are, and who the future is. And the future, unfortunately for them, ain't on TV. Watch the Young Turks commercial free, download it or stream it, watch it any way you like at tytnetwork.com slash join.